This was the first time anyone had linked stress to the deteriorating health of a primate in the wild. Basically, if you're, you know, a stressed, unhealthy baboon in a typical troop, high blood pressure, elevated levels of stress hormones, you have an immune system that doesn't work as well, your reproductive system is more vulnerable to being knocked out of whack, your brain chemistry is one that bears some similarity to what you see in clinically depressed humans. This is real. This is not just somebody whining. This is real medically serious aging going on and we can see that it's actually caused by the chronic stress. The Whitehall study in England found an incredible link between stress, your position in the social hierarchy, and how you put on weight. So it may not be just putting on weight, but also the distribution of that weight. And the distribution of that weight, putting it on round the center, is related to position in the hierarchy, and that in turn may be related to chronic stress pathways. I think the most amazing observation that I've made in my lab is this idea that stress could actually change the way you deposit fat on your body. To me, that was a bizarre idea that you could actually alter the way fat is distributed. Sapolsky, Shively, and others think stress could be a critical factor in the global obesity epidemic. Even worse, fat brought on by stress is dangerous fat. You know that fat carried on the trunk or actually inside the abdomen is much worse for you than fat carried elsewhere on the body. It behaves differently. It's, it, is, um, it produces different kinds of hormones and chemicals and has different effects on your health. Whatever it is that works for an individual, they, they need to value stress reduction. I think the problem in our society is that we don't value stress reduction. We, in fact, value the opposite. We admire the person who not only multitasks and does two things at once, but does five things at once. We kind of admire that person. How do they manage that, you know? Well, that's, it's, that's incredibly stressful way to live. We have to change our values and value people who understand a, a balanced and serene life.